Hello and good evening to my channel, The Ivy's Grove, and and uh, I am pretty excited about this um, this episode I'm going to be showing you of a walkthrough of an Oracle deck that I'm pretty excited about. Um, I originally pre-ordered it on Amazon, um, and after got pre-ordered, it got bumped up, and then they, you know, ended up um, sending me an email stating if I still want it. I, I so press yes, what have you. Um, my money got taken, got taken out, but for almost three weeks now, it's been uh, until yesterday, yesterday, I decided to cancel it because been waiting on an email for three weeks. So I decided to cancel it and went to a um, a witchcraft store that um, just happened to sell this particular deck. And I snatched it up. And I work with the moon cycles for years and years and years. Um, I've been wanting an oracle deck that has to do with the moon cycles for quite some time. And it finally came out by U.S. Games, and it's called The Witching Hour Oracle by Sherry Gernhardt. And by U.S. Games, called The Witching Hour is the time when the inf infinite energy of the universe is strongest and most accessible. The Witching Hour Oracle helps you Tap into the magical power that exists within all of us when we use our intentions to positively impact the world. Channel the wisdom of the triple goddess and the power of the lunar cycles to manifest potent outcomes. Includes 39 counts in a 64-page guidebook. Mm. Nice, small. You know, it's nothing huge. Um, nice, um, small box. Opens. Inside of the cover is the book. And the back of the book, very purple. And it only has um, two. Talks a little bit about the lunar phases. It only has two. Spreads. And then of course you got causes and meanings. And then near the end you have about the artist and the writer of it. Where to follow her? This is also the inside of the box. There's a normal tarot deck, just to give you an idea of the size of the deck. A little big, but nothing too major. At least for me, anyway. I know some people have small hands. That's the thick of it. Of course, all the backs. Same as the book. You got the raven and the brown owl. And you flip it over. Sorry about the glare. It's a little glossy. Fine, I was sitting there. And the raven and the crow flying. I ended up um, looking through them before I started. And I realized what, how, you know, 
was, you know, I was always wondering, okay, how, how does this person does 36 cards for 13 moon phases? Well, I'm going to show you, start with the first card, it's the wolf moon, beginnings, I'm going to put that right here. Full moon, wolf moon for protection. We got the mother. The wolf moon online. We have the crown. I like how the crown isn't quite an old lady. It's almost like she's just entering the crown phase of her life. So, if you noticed what the artist did for each of the moon, name of the moons, we got the three phases and the three. In the triple goddess. February moon is called the ice moon for purification. Ice moon for growth for the full moon for the mother. for the glare. It is slightly glossy. Both. Crone. Ice Moon self-healing. I like how she's holding an actual heart with the body. March is known as the crow moon to explore. Slight look, a uh, bit of a hermit there. Prosperity. Full moon. Hold on, this one. Breaking illusions. Even though it's coming from maiden, probably to maybe mother. Have that old old lily right there. Okay. April is the growing moon, self reliance. One. Full moon, growing moon, creating. Confidence. May is the hair moon. 
and then like a rabbit or hare. Intuition for the maiden. Propagating energy. We have guidance. Mead moon, mead is in like a alcoholic drink. Restless energy. Beautiful woman in a red dress. Decisions. Self reward. The Buck Moon relaxed energy. Buck moon, prepare. In the buck moon, dream walk. The Bali Moon, Vitality, A lot of diversity. Makes sense because the moon is the magic of the moon is all over the all over the world. Appreciate for the full moon Bali. <laughs> this one I like. I saw this one. Saw this one. I was flipping through, and I'm like, yes. The Bali Moon, Crone Aspect, Friendship. Not sure if you see it, but one woman has a streak of green hair, and the other one has a streak of purple. The Harvest Moon. For balance makes sense because it's September and
full moon, harvest moon. Rest after labor. Organize the mind. The blood moon, karma. Let go. Oh, well, this one. Justice. Next three is called the Blue Moon, honoring the past. Commune with the dead. Prophecy. The snow moon transform. Take root. The snow moon. Communication. And the last is the cold moon. Reach out. Indoor. And personal alchemy. So, yeah, so maiden, mother, and crown. I do like the I do like the diversity of women of all ages and around the world. I like 
you know, they're just absolutely gorgeous art, gorgeous cards. I'm going to have a lot of fun using these cards. These would be great for, um, because each, each name of the moon is for each month. So it'll be great to, you know, work with the moon faces and for that, um, for that energy. So, let's see. Like the wolf moon is also known, it says here, the wolf moon, also known as the cha chastity moon, distant moon, and quiet moon. During the wolf moon, the nights are long and dark, and many of us are trying to stay warm as the ice moon approaches. This time of year, we're all feeling a bit slow and off as our bodies are sluggish when we are adjusting, adjusting to the colder temperatures. The wolf moon is a time for new beginnings. By simplification, it's a time to set aside everything you don't need and try a minimalist approach to both your physical and spiritual self. So there's also other names of the, of the moons as well. This would be great for um, if, you, if you want to bless them and charge them during all phases of the moon for a month if you want to do it. Shuffle's good. <laughs> the Wolf Moon Beginnings. So this is beginnings, wolf moon, waxing moon, maiden. The waxing wolf moon is the start of a, of conceiving in new beginnings. It's time to put aside your lassitude and focus beginning anew. Just as this maiden sits in the fetal position on this card with the nimbus of new ideas luminously encircling her mind. Draw on the beginning card. Consider the options that is an excellent time to start any spiritual or soul-inspiring project that may have been weighing on your mind. Should you take that painting class or that singing lesson, get involved in your favorite nonprofit or finally begin that project that speaks to your soul. What currently is dwelling in the back of your mind that needs to have a new beginning? Find it and focus on what you need to begin anew. Yeah, this would be good for, um, I don't want to say, like, I mean, besides I pick, you know, pick one, one card or what have you, but it would be good to, like, you can even, like, you know, go through, find out what, um, what moon for the month and pick the three cards and just kind of, like, move them around and take a pendulum or something and let it go which card, and you flip it, and you read the message, and you work on your spiritual path with that message. So there's, there's another, that's another way to do it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been getting, um, yeah, I've been, um, usually I don't purchase a deck or pre-order a deck, um, I tend to hold off a while, but this one and there's um, there's an oracle deck that's coming out in June that I'm pretty excited about that I'm going to be pre-ordering too, and I believe those are the really the only two that I'll pre-order. I think the rest, um, 
there's a couple decks. There's one that's coming out in June, but I'm gonna hold off a little. I'm gonna hold off a good six, seven months um, before I purchase it. Um, and then of course I have an animal deck that I'm just waiting on for it to be finished. And um, other than that, yeah, I have quite a. I have a bit a, a decent all right collection, and you know, be slowing down on my deck purchases. And, um, you know, pretty much, I'm pretty much happy with my, with my collection of decks and yeah, um, until, until next time, I hope you enjoy this walkthrough and until next time, I will see you soon. Blessings.